Hello friends, this video on Air Around Us Part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So then comes the next uh, most important constituent of air that is oxygen. Now oxygen is something which is very 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 critical for all living organisms. In fact we breathe in oxygen. So when we breathe in air, we are not interested in all the gases which are present in the air. We are interested in oxygen. So we need oxygen. So oxygen is that important. Now when they say we, we not only refers to human beings, it also refers to other animals, uh, say plants, fishes and all other life forms. So oxygen is also present in water. When you think of water, what is water? It is H2O. That is two hydrogen and one oxygen. So oxygen is a part of water as well. So in short, oxygen forms life. Without oxygen, there would be no living organisms on this earth. So you can understand how critical oxygen is. Oxygen also helps burning, the process of burning, when we burn a piece of paper, we burn logs of wood, we burn anything. So that burning is possible only because of oxygen. If there is no oxygen, you can never burn anything. And burning always produces some energy which is used up for some other purposes. So that's how the process of burning is also important for us. So since oxygen is important for so many animals, fishes, birds, insects, lions, tigers, elephants, in human beings, so it is important to know more about oxygen, right? Yes. Now we breathe in oxygen. So why do we breathe in oxygen? So let's try to understand that. Now let's look at this example. On the screen, what do you see? You see a house here and you see human beings here. So what I am doing is I am trying to compare our body with a building. Now what is the building made up of? The building is made up of bricks. So each brick, so many thousands and thousands of bricks like this form a beautiful building like this. Right? Now when we look at our body, our body is also made up of such smaller units. So there are bricks inside our body which are not really bricks but they are a part which are like bricks like how you have thousand bricks piled together forming a building similarly thousand cells piled together to form an organism so each this is how a, one cell look like and millions and millions of cells like this together form an entire organism okay now who needs oxygen why do we breathe oxygen what what is the need now like a building is made up of bricks, our body is made up of such tiny cells. Now these cells are very 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 small in size and they can never be seen with naked eye. In fact in order to see the cells you really need a very very powerful microscope. Now each of these cells keep working all the time to make our body work. Now, what do we mean by work? We feel that okay, if I am lifting a bag from one place to another, I am doing some work. If I am jogging, I am doing some work. But even when we sit idle, even when we sleep, our body is still working. When we sleep at night, we are not doing any work, but the organs inside our body are still working. Our heart is still beating. Our blood is still circulating. So that time also, the, our internal organs they are still doing their job so the circulatory system is on the nervous system is on so if all the other systems inside our body they are still working so that means the cells of our body are working all the time to make our body work now what kind of work now since each of those cells are doing some work they need some energy so how do the cells get energy so the cells get energy from the food which we eat Right? Quite logical. So the cells, they are doing work inside our body. So for that, doing that work, they need energy. So from where will they get the energy? From the food which we eat. Now we eat food from our mouth. So where does the food go? The food goes inside our stomach. What happens to the food? The food is then broken down and it is digested and absorbed by the body. When I say the food is absorbed by the body, it is actually absorbed by the cells of the body. And then each of these cells, they will convert the food 
into energy so inside each and every cell the food which we eat that gets converted into energy and that is this energy gives the cell the power to perform all the activities now each and every cell of our body they need energy right so each and every cell need food and also inside the cell the food needs to be converted into energy and in order that food gets converted into energy for that purpose the cells need oxygen so oxygen plays a very important role in generating energy from food inside the cell so therefore each and every cell inside our body needs oxygen because only when they have oxygen they will be able to generate energy from food and only when they are able to generate energy they will be able to do their work and only when all the cells of our body are doing their work only then our body will do its work so even if one cell stops working our body will be in a mess right so this entire this process of generating energy from the food which we eat that is known as respiration so this process is called respiration and as a part of this process oxygen is breathed in that is why we breathe in oxygen because we breathe in oxygen that oxygen reaches each and every cell of the body each and every cell will utilize that oxygen to convert food into energy and that's how the cells will keep on working so now you understand why we breathe in oxygen yes so that means if there is no oxygen cells will not work and if cells will not work the organism will not be alive so now you understand how important oxygen is without oxygen we cannot survive thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again